where the news comes first. Good evening, everyone. I'm Denise Whitaker. And I'm Kent Bates. Thank you for watching News 4 at 5 this evening. A confessed rapist may not have to spend the rest of his life in prison after all. Today, the Arkansas State Supreme Court overturned the sentence of Boy Scout leader Jack Walls III. Jack Vincent has been following the story. He joins us now with more. Jack? Kent, the Supreme Court says Circuit Court Judge Lance Hanshaw incorrectly considered three murders when handling, uh, handing down Walls' sentence. Uh, Walls was sentenced last year to three life terms plus 80 years after pleading guilty to five rapes and no contest to a sixth. The murders in question were the ones committed by Heath Stocks against his parents and sister in 1997. Now, during Walls' sentence, Heath, one of Walls' rape victims, testified that Walls encouraged him to kill his parents. The Judge Hanshaw says that testimony had no bearing on Walls' sentence. No, I'm not shocked. Uh, no judge likes to be reversed. Uh, I know what I based my decision on, and it was not uh, the fact that uh, uh, the stock murders were testified to in the, in the case. That had nothing to do with my sentence. Now, the court will issue a resentencing mandate in the meantime because there is a minimum 10-year sentence with rape. Walls will remain in prison until the resentencing can be held. Judge Hanshaw, at this point in time, remains on the case, but defense attorney Hubert Alexander could ask him to step down. By the way, a new special prosecutor will have to be appointed to handle this case because Betty Dickey, who handled the original sentencing, is no longer prosecuting cases. Kent? Jack, thank you. Is News 4 at 6, where the news comes first. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Betsy Pilgrim. And I'm Steve Barnes. The state Supreme Court today overturned the four life prison sentences given an admitted child rapist from Lono. Former scout leader Charles Jack Walls III, who was sentenced in February last year after pleading guilty to molesting several of his scouts. Jack Vincent has been following the case and joins us now with more. Jack? Steve, the Supreme Court ruled the judge in the case, Lance Hanshaw, incorrectly took into consideration testimony about the murder of three people in an unrelated case. Heath Stocks was a scout in Wall's troop. He was one of Walls' rape victims. Now, when testifying at Walls' sentencing, Stocks testified that Walls encouraged him to kill his parents and his sister. The Supreme Court ruled four to three that the harsh sentence was prejudiced by that testimony. Judge Hanshaw, though, says that is not the case, and both he and Lone Oak Police Chief Charles Peckett are disappointed in the ruling. No, I'm not shocked. Uh, no judge likes to be reversed. Uh, I know what I based my decision on, and it was not uh, the fact that uh, uh, the stock murders were testified to in the, in the case. That had nothing to do with my sentence. They looked into it. I'm not a lawyer, and, and for some reason they did, and I haven't read the opinion on it yet. Um, but uh, it was their decision to reverse it, and I'm sure that they had some grounds to do that on. I, I, now, there will be a resentencing. Before that happens, though, the Supreme Court must file a resentencing mandate, and then Defense Attorney Hubert Alexander will request that hearing be set. Also, a new special prosecutor will have to be assigned. Prosecutor Betty Dickey, who handled the case originally, is no longer prosecuting cases. Steve? All right, Jack, thanks very much. Last year, a judge sentenced a former Boy Scout leader convicted of rape to six life terms plus 80 years. But now Charles Jack Walls III may not have to serve that time. The state Supreme Court granted Walls' request for resentencing. His attorneys argued Judge Lance Hanshaw shouldn't have allowed some testimony in the punishment phase of the trial. The testimony was related to a triple murder committed by Heath Stocks, who was one of Walls' rape victims. The judge disagrees with the high court's ruling. And uh, the sentences that I handed down were certainly within the guideline, parameter guidelines. Uh, of the sentencing guidelines uh, without taking into consideration any testimony. Defense attorney Hubert Alexander agrees but says, quote, the Arkansas sentencing guidelines show a recommended 20-year sentence for rape. I haven't seen any guidelines yet that recommend life, so I don't think that was fair at all. Alexander also says he will ask Judge Hanshaw to recuse himself if he doesn't voluntarily step down. So far, there's no date for resentencing.